Hello and welcome to another video at Life Gun Cigar. So, let's say you were working on your Glock, in this case it's a Glock 19, and you went to put it all back together. Let's say pistol just so you're sure. You went to go put it all back together, and you were messing, let's say, with the slide in particular, or maybe one of the internal parts, and you go to pull the trigger. And that happens. Nothing. No click. Automatically resets. So now you have a, uh, an issue or a condition where you obviously want to fix that. But here's the problem. To take apart the Glock, the trigger has to be depressed. Now you might think to yourself, okay, I'll just depress the trigger with my one finger and rack the slide back a little bit and pull the two locking block pins and I'll slide it right off. But it won't do that. It'll only go that far. So you're thinking to yourself, oh boy, what have I done? So here's how you correct that issue. So first thing you want to do is you're going to lock back the slide. Then, let me see if I can get it close here. You're going to take your pin punch or whatever tool you have available and you're going to actuate the firing pin. And you can see there's the firing pin itself right here and then right inside there just hard to make out. If you'll have to trust me you can probably see a little bit right there. You're going to have a sleeve and that's the firing pin sleeve. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your pin punch and you're going to press down on that piece of plastic. I don't know if you can see but that'll depress just a little bit. So what you're going to do is, and you're going to have to bear with me because I know you're not going to be able to see it as clearly as I'd like you to be able to. But you're going to depress that piece of plastic in and while you're holding that you're going to slide off the slide cover. Okay, so the slide cover is off. We're still holding pressure on the firing pin through the sleeve. Now I'm going to put my thumb back over there. I'm going to remove the connect the pin punch. You heard that snap. And if you can see, it's actually the spring is now visible, the firing pin spring. Okay, so now we can take the firing pin out, put that aside, ejector spring, and now what you're going to do is you're going to want to let the slide go forward. Now what that's going to enable you to do is to get the ejector to come out. You have to trust me at all come loose and you're messing with it. And there we go. So that'll come out. You may have to pull a little bit. Sometimes it'll just fall out. And now that you have that out you can bring the slide back into battery and you should be able to, while racking it, get the final pin for the safety and the ejector to come out. So that'll just drop out of the slide release or it may drop out through the top but it's just going to come out through gravity. Now, because you have all the internals in the slide out, you can see you can look straight down through it. And it's actually looking, we're actually looking at the daylight there from through the firing pin, where the firing pin would be, and down the barrel. And now, you can bring it back, the slide back just a bit, pull your two pins down, and now you can slide your slide off. 
So now we have all the parts out of the slide, and the slide is off. So that's a bit unconventional. So now you can take a look at what you have done wrong in the frame or into the internals of the slide to correct the issue. Now in this case, what I've done wrong, and I've, I've done it on purpose for the video, is I've left out this, the connector. Now it doesn't matter if you leave the connector out or if you put the bar in the wrong spot or maybe you leave the trigger spring which is underneath here out. All of those are going to cause the same problems. So now we can drive our pins out of our slide. You don't even have to take that one out actually for this issue. And now I can get to my trigger mechanism and you can see the connector is missing again because I have it here. And so now you can go ahead and correct the issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the connector in to the trigger mechanism. And once that's completed, and I have that back in, you have to bear with me, it's easier to do the take the entire slide apart, but and all this system apart. But for the nature of the video, it's much faster to not do so. Sorry, I'm trying to do it on camera for you. So now, that's back together. The trigger connector is in there. Now it's just a matter of getting everything back into battery. Okay, everything's back in and back in place. We can drive our pin into the rear of the frame. Okay, and now we can put our slide back together. So, I have other videos where I've shown the disassembly and such of the slide, but the Plunger is going to go back in. The extractor is going to go back in there. This pin is going to go in. Again, metal to metal, polymer to polymer. Then the firing pin and sleeve. And now you can put your rear slide cover on. some reason it's always much harder to do on video so got that in and the secondary spring everything's locked everything's functioning now we can put our slide back on okay everything's now back in the firearm now we can do a function check again make sure everything's clear and now now everything works so that's how you fix and clear a jam and an issue if you have taken apart your Glock for maintenance and left out a piece or something is out of battery that is how you're going to take it apart to put it back together correctly 
without having availability to lock the trigger to the rear. So thank you again for watching. Life Gun Cigar.